Oh, Lord. Hi, guys. I almost dropped my jar just now. Um, I actually really wanted to do mermaids, but like me, and indecisive as I can become, I ended up changing my mind again. I'm still stuck on Alice Projects, so um, I'm going to still do the jar, but I'm not going to use it with the mermaid. Um, I love mermaids, but I just, I'm feeling Alice still, so I got to keep going with it. Um, so I have three jars here. All three of them are kind of versatile as far as the style. I've got a nautical theme one, I have a butterfly theme one, and I have another nautical theme one. Um, if you have been on Shannon Sharing Crafts, you've probably seen these in still pictures. It's possible there's another video that I have posted somewhere on my channel. Um, I know one of these, it seems like I made a tutorial video about, I think it was the butterfly one. I think it was this one right here. So. It's all good though, because I have new people that are over here, and you guys probably haven't had time to look back at old videos. And the fact that it's the same concept that I'm going to use, um, I'm going to do an Alice in Wonderland candle holder exactly with this concept. So it's probably going to be lengthy. Um, I don't know how long it's going to take. I have most of my stuff done. I have the artwork done on it already. But we're going to see. I really do not want to rush through this project. So I will try to keep the videos between 15 and 20 minutes um, because I know how some people, they don't want to sit through hours and hours of trying to put a project together. Some of y'all do, though. I don't know. I have a lot to say. I mean, we could chit chat a whole bunch. I mean, I don't know. But I really don't want to rush through it because it's really... Um, it's special to me. You know what I mean? These right here are really special to me. When I learned how to make them, each one of them have their own spin and I just don't want to rush through it for the sake of trying to teach you how to do it. So um, my one recommendation would maybe be um, if it's just repetitive and it seems like it's taken forever, just take your mouse and just kind of move the slider over some. You know what I mean? And just kind of go through it that way. Um, if you if you really want to learn how to do it, if you're just you know here to see what I'm using, and if you want to go to the last video and see the final, that's cool too. I, it doesn't matter to me. I'm basically doing it to teach you how to do it, and I'm sure on the web there's probably tons of these out there um, that are that are starting to filter through because I'm getting a lot of um, feedback like on Facebook. So it's your choice, but I will warn you, it's going to be a long tutorial, whether it's in parts or whether it's, you know, it takes a while to do these and I, I don't want to mess up on it. So, all right. So let's see. First, uh, as far as supplies, I can show you these candle jars. Um, I'm probably not going to use the same supplies that are on these because it is Alice in Wonderland themed and I want to stick with the colors and all of that. Um, but as far as your jar, I went to Walmart probably like three, four months ago and I purchased a whole case of mason jars. I don't know what size this is because it's not really stamped. It's just a standard size clear mason jar. Now, <laughs> When you, if you choose to use a brand new jar like this, make sure that you allow the width of the jar to be bigger than that. Y'all, I had a hard time. I had a really hard time getting my images on the inside of here. Okay. I'm going to tough it out because I've got several more of these over there and I'm just going to use them up. But I guarantee you the next set of these that I go to work on, they will have a wider mouth than this one. Still will work though. You do not have to go out and buy these jars though. You have jars every single day. If you cook at home, you have tons of these jars in everything that you buy. There's there's pickle jars, which I don't recommend the pickle jars because the smell is really hard to get out. I've had some people tell me you can use baking soda, soak it in there overnight in like hot water with baking soda powder in it, let it dissolve and sit and it'll get rid of that smell. I've had someone else tell me you can take wet newspaper and set it down inside of a pickle jar and close the lid on it and then it will get rid of that smell. I've not, I haven't tried either one um, only because I use, I buy a lot of, you know, sauces and stuff that are glass jars already, um, which is really terrible if you don't recycle and I don't recycle, I don't recycle, I should, but I don't. But anyhow, um, I do kind of upcycle 
food jars from time to time. So I will purchase them if they are food, you know, like pasta sauces, um, fruit in the jars. I've seen some really, really cute jars at Walmart and they're like a dollar for the mixed fruit. I'm really, I'm going I'm to have to buy some of those. I'm going to have to buy some of those. I can sense some other projects using those. So, and if you guys have watched enough of my videos, you know, I love to upcycle things that are going to go in the trash. Um, and I always see an idea for everything. So don't go out and spend your money to buy a mason jar. If you have a jar at home, use it. You know what I mean? Another really good idea, if you're a candle freak, like I am 24 seven, I have candles everywhere in this house. And the, the candle jars that you buy from Dollar General, Walmart, especially Walmart, because they come with the lids on them, use those. To get the wax out of a regular candle jar, you know how when it burns all the way down to the bottom, um, put hot soapy water in it and then let it sit for, I don't know, a half an hour to an hour. That wax will pop right out of there. Um, and just keep scrubbing it out with the hot soapy water and all of the wax will come out. I've showed this to you guys in another video, but this is what I'm talking about. This is a real candle jar and it had wax in it at one time and that's how I cleaned it. You know what I mean? The shape of it and everything is just beautiful and if you can see the silhouette that's on the inside. I'm going this way. There we go. See the silhouette that's on there? This is the same thing that we're going to do um, or that I'm planning on doing with my Alice in Wonderland um, art that I've already gotten done. Um, but it's going to be a little different. I'm not using tissue paper. So just whatever jar you can find, whatever jar you can find with a lid on it is what you want. Um, it just depends. I like the mason jars because I can take the ring of it and I can use it um, as part of the jar. You know what I'm saying? So I'll give you an example. This is the butterfly one that I made. The can I don't have the candles in here right now. This is the one. There is an actual tutorial video on this one. Okay. And you can go back in my videos and look for it. Let me see if I can move up a little bit. Okay. So on the front of it, it's just a butterfly that came off of a wind chime. This is one of those little clear bottles and it's got fairy dust on the inside of it. It's held together with some wire. You can see the wire that's on there at the bottom of the wind chime. I didn't have to do any hole cutting or anything. There's a video on this one being made. Okay. Um, as far as the lid, you have the lid that's here. You can take this lid, get rid of this little middle piece that's on here, the little actual cannon part. You have the lid. All I did was take it and glue it on the top of the bottle, on, to, on the top of the jar, just like that. I was able to wrap this with, um, with tool or lace or whatever you want to wrap it with. And this was the ring that I put on top of it. Okay. So I'm still going to use the same concept. Um, you don't have to flip it up. You could get rid of that middle piece and you could just do it like that. It, it's up to you. I wanted height and I wanted to be able to use the ring on it. So back to this one, there's two silhouettes on the inside of this. When you put a candle on the inside of this, it's really beautiful. It glows like almost like a nightlight. If you can see it in there, that's a fairy swinging from a branch and there's a bird on the top of that branch on this side. On the other side, I have a dancing fairy. And it's really hard because the glare, the glare is not going to work with me, is it? Uh, really? Okay, well, if you go back to the video, you can see how this one was made. But there's just a lot of decoration on that. I've got some of that ribbon, blingy ribbon stuff that's going around the ring of it. I've got some little plastic hearts that are on there. The colors on the inside are all glittered. See, I got to go this way. See? So this is just one of them that I did. Okay. Then I did another one that was a mermaid one. And I did it in a completely different everything. Everything was different has the mermaid on the front. You see her on the front of it. She is purposely meant to look old and tattered. Okay. That was some Tim Holtz ink that I used. These are real shells that are on the front of it here, glued on the outside of it. There's an anchor on the other side of it, inside of there, this anchor. When I put my candles in here and they glow at night, it's beautiful. But I also wanted it to be beautiful during the day. You know what I mean? Because I don't burn them unless it's at nighttime. So let's see. And then I've got the ring that's on the top of it. Okay. I did some green ribbon on the front of it. I actually took pearls and strung them on wire 
took a key ring, just a regular old key ring, and I got a whole pack of these key rings at Walmart. Um, and these tags, these tags are handmade. Let me see if I can do this. The tags on here, y'all, I'm terrible. The tags on here, those are handmade tags. And I'm going to show you guys how to make handmade tags out of my Alice in Wonderland um, art that I have here. I don't really know what to call it. Um, but I did, y'all. I made the tags. And it's a beachy tag. This is the other one that I did. Can we do this? See? And they're just hanging off of there. This is some little shells that came out of some costume jewelry. I thought that would look good. And it would tie in with the black from the anchor. Then I have some Tim Holtz rub-ons that I picked up at Hobby Lobby. Those are rub-ons, and they rub right onto the glass. Um, really super cute. Um, and it was really kind of hard to do the bottom one. I don't know what happened, but if you can see closely, it says, I refuse to sink. See it in the words up here? I refuse to sink all the way around it. When you put a candle in here and light this up, it is gorgeous. And it is just, it makes a perfect nightlight. I mean, and I've made three of them. This is the other mermaid one that I, or this is the, this is the mermaid thing. When I'm, I'm so like out of whack with the camera tonight. I don't know what's wrong with me. Um, this is the mermaid one that I made. You've already seen the one with the butterfly. This is the other mermaid one that I made. Let me see. I thought I, I thought I hit the button again. Here's the other mermaid one that I made. And it has starfish um, wishes on it. Okay. I wrote in salty kisses with a gold uh, paint pen that's on there. I don't know if you guys can see that. I don't know why I can't get in the frame here. Can you see it on, on the side right here? Okay. I have a mermaid that's on there. And then I took one of those little hats. It was just a, a hat that came in a bunch of stuff that I bought from the consignment shop. And then up here, I did another handmade tag. It's an anchor. Okay. And then behind that is an old earring, but I love the designs in it. So I wanted to keep it, you know, I thought it looked nautical, so I threw it on there. Then I have some pearl spray that's on this side hanging off. Then I did some regular lace. I'm not really good at trying to uh, twist things around here. This is just lace. It's really hard to see it. There we go. See, it's just lace that's kind of just wrapped around the bottle. And then, of course, this stuff that's back here is um, the bead ribbon that you can pick up at Dollar Tree. And on the inside of it, it's just painted blue. Okay? So they're, they're beautiful, and they make really good gifts. You could do it in any theme that you want to do in them. And I've made a ton of these, and I've sold a bunch of these too. But I can't part with the nautical ones, and I can't really part with the butterfly one either because it's just really cool. So I am about to do an Alice in Wonderland one. Same concept, but it's going to be all Alice in Wonderland, and it's going to have the, um, the cat with his glowing eyes out um, on the wall of it. And then I'm going to have my tags and key rings hanging off the side of it just like this. So I will take you there. We will go there and we will try to do it. And I don't want anyone getting frustrated if it takes too long. Come back to the video when you're able to watch it um, because it's a really good thing. And I mean, you know, if you could make them, oh my gosh, oh my gosh, they're, they're beautiful. They're really beautiful. And you could do them for any kind of character. It doesn't have to be Alice in Wonderland. It could be anything that you want it to be. Anything, anything, you know. So I'm going to continue to get the rest of my supplies together. This is not going to be considered part one of the tutorial. I'm just going to call this a show and tell. Um, I will quickly show you the items that I do have together. Of course, I've already said I have my jar. I'm going to use my mason jar um, as the actual candle holder. I have some battery operated tea light candles. These are really awesome. Pick them up at Dollar Tree. There's 240 total hours on these. They burn forever. They burn forever. I have photo paper, which I'm going to use to show you how I make the handmade tags. I have some genuinely old paper. Old paper. I don't have to dye this or anything. This is really old paper. And then I have some wire that I still have to grab because I'm going to have a handle on the top of the lid. I have my artwork, which is done now. These are the ones that I'm going to use. So I have to cut these out still before I do the video because I'm not wasting anybody's time by cutting them out. So this is the art that I plan on using on there. 
I'm going to show you guys how I make these into tags and put that face on the inside of the jar. Okay, all Alice in Wonderland. So I can scan this in if you guys would like, if you want to use the images. Um, this is the act, I, it doesn't take me very long to draw these though. It really doesn't. It doesn't. So I guess that's it. I'm going to get these cut out. I'm going to get my supplies together to show you how to make the tags. We're going to start getting our jar ready and we're going to go with it. And I don't know how many videos it's going to take, but I really think it's a good idea and I want to share it with you guys. So, um, yeah, that's it. I will be back um, after I get these cut out and get the supplies together. This is not going to be part one. This is just going to be just a show and tell, but you guys will know what's going on if you watch it. And if not, then, then it's all good. So, all right, guys, I will be back probably within, I don't know, 15 or 20 minutes, and we'll get the ball rolling. I hope I can get all these videos uploaded tonight. I really hope I can. But um, if you could run and grab a jar, <laughs> you could run and grab a jar, grab your scrap scrapbook and embellishments, silhouettes, any of that kind of stuff if you have any on hand, and come on down. Maybe we can, you know, I'll do it, and then you can do it with me. I won't know that you're doing it with me, but you know. Anyways. All right, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. I'll be right back.